Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with In The Doll. Today I was actually planning on uploading a uh, new video for a series on Studio One, but I was in the middle of editing this audio take and this is like super early in the morning right now. So I'm sitting here listening and comping a uh, guitar take of my cousin that I recorded here at my apartment. We're in the middle of uh, producing and uh, recording a song that he wrote, but I noticed that there's these little uh, pick noises. You can see one right here and you can see one right here where he seems to be uh, picking really hard where his uh, pick is hitting the acoustic guitar. You can hear this like kind of thing. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, spectral cleaning products. I love my uh, RX Elements because it comes with the plugin and the uh, vocal denoiser is the thing that I use for all my voiceovers. But it's also really expensive to have the standard or full version of RX. So I also have the newest version of Magic's Spectral Layers. Now, I want to show you guys, I'm going to play this audio. You can see it right here and right here, there's going to be two click. Now, the second one's really easy to get rid of. It's right here. You can see it. Let me just bring it up so you can kind of visualize it a little bit better. It's right here. And I just use the lasso tool and I zoom in and I just kind of select where it would really be, which is all up to about here. Delete it. And then if we listen back, it's gone. And you don't really notice it that much. Now, I was pretty aggressive because I'm doing this pretty quickly. But normally, I will take my time. I'll zoom in way more. And I'll just kind of select only the frequencies that this is at. Delete it. And if we go back, can't hear it anymore. Now, this one's a little bit more difficult, right? Because you can't really highlight it and delete it without uh, making it sound weird. But that's where the Clone Snap tool actually comes in. Clone Snap is a lot like Clone Snap in uh, Photoshop. You pick a source, you select how big you want it to be, and uh, let me deselect all of this. And I'm going to select just about right here, and then I'm going to select right here. And then let's do before. And then we'll do after. So the next one, I see there's another one right here. It's a little more subtle. You can kind of hear it. It's right here. That one doesn't really bother me. I don't mind these small light ones. It's these really loud ones that annoy me. Like that one. You can clearly hear the pick hitting the wood. So again, I just pick my source. Select it. Click on it. Now there, we heard another one. Sounds like it's around here. Yeah, right here. But you can actually see that one. And again, this one's an easy one to get rid of. I just select it with my lasso tool. Make this one a little bit tighter. Delete it. And it's gone. And there it is. It's really that easy. I'm going to have to go through this entire recording and do that because I didn't notice that he was picking so hard when we recorded it. And I didn't go to comping it till several days later. It's been about a week. That's it. I just wanted to have a quick little video show you guys a really awesome way to use uh, magic spectral layers. This is Jerry Mateo with In The Da, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.